Well, today I just cocked up a driveway. I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's look at this crack here. Why did this crack crack on a driveway when the joint's there and you go back here and there's a joint way over here? Now, why did that crack? Because you got to separate the sidewalks from the driveway. That's the biggest reason. That's why I use that screed key. Now, they want me to fix this crack and it's almost impossible it's broke and what happens is they put this stuff over it see it and it, it builds into the other concrete it takes part of it with it so I'm just gonna patch it up and see what I could do with it first I'm gonna get this all up the best I can like that. See that crack how it goes in there? It's a disaster. Cleaning that all out. Any way I can get in there. So I clean the cracks up the best I can. It's only going to crack again. You see it? So I'm going to show you what I do. Now here's my recipe. I'm using five of uh, five parts of masonry sand, just like this, and only one of Portland. That's it. I don't want to make it too strong. See, Portland cement. I'm just going to mix it up, if you can see that, mix that up, add a little water to it, not too much, I just want it to get good enough to use it, like this, I don't want it strong, I don't want it, I just want it wet enough where I can shove it in there, That's it. Just that wet sand, not too strong at all. See that? Not too strong. It's almost like it doesn't have any water in it, but it's just enough to have enough water in it to do what I want it to do. That's good. It's kind of like a swimming pool mix. So I'm going to get a little water on my sprayer and just dampen it. Not too big, just dampen it. That's all I want. Then, I'm going to get this almost like a dry pack, they call it. Put it in there, just like that. It's not too wet. It's a dry pack. See it? That's all I'm doing. Dry packing it. See it? Just like that. Best I can. Close to the top very weak. There's a reason for that. Over here. Same thing. A dry packet. You don't have to do anything fancy, you just dry pack it. I'm just brushing it off like that. See that? It didn't leave no stains because it wasn't wet. You don't have to have it wet. But I came back a day later and you can see this is all dried. Right here, that's the cement patch. And now I'm going to go over it with caulking. Gonna get this, go right over the top of it. Just like that.
I'm going to get a little water and a sponge and smooth it all out. Just like that. Smooth it all out. Look what I did here. This is Portland cement. That's what I'm using, just a little bit of Portland cement to go over the top of that. And you get a little Portland cement. Just roll it on like that. And kind of get in there. Hide all the sins. See that? Just like that. And just a little bit of water from my sprayer to harden that Portland up. Just a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. That'll harden that Portland up so if it rains it won't. I'm going to talk about that Talking job. What I didn't film was at the very end, me just brushing the Portland off before I wet it. So you got to look at it that way. What a lot of people do is they just blob that stuff on. I don't want to do that. I want to get it smooth and I want to get it even. That's why you mix that real Portland up, which 5 to 1, which is pretty weak. It's a swimming pool mix. And what it does is it lays in there. If that starts moving, it's not going to crack hard. It's going to crack soft and it's going to fill itself in, then the idea is just to go over it with the caulking to kind of seal it up, throw some Portland over it. You've seen in my last video I threw dust over it. You can put mud over it. But what you do before you even try to caulk your sidewalk is go over to the side, get something you can practice on, and then, then you know what it's going to look like by the time you're done. Just don't go right to it and start doing it. Always go to the side and practice. This is uh, that Forma Key. I always use it when I'm pouring concrete so I don't get concrete cracks. And if I do cut it with a concrete uh, divider, you know, you just put the dividers in, I usually go back and I saw it the next day to make sure that if it cracks, it's going to crack right there. If you're going to cock something, there's a million ways to do it. It's just another way to do it. So check out my playlist and my videos on concrete driveway resurfacing and sidewalk resurfacing and concrete patches. A lot of stuff in there to help you out. So that's my videos. They're all food for thought. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until next video.